KY Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. You know, I realize we've had some pretty decent snow around here, but compared to the south side of Buffalo, New York, our snow is child's play. I'll tell you what, a band of very heavy lake effect snow has set up off of Lake Erie, and on the south side of Buffalo, it has been coming down like there's no tomorrow. As a matter of fact, snow has been falling at the rate in some locations at three to four inches per hour. And in the heaviest band, already two to four feet of snow has been reported. Again, this is on the south side of Buffalo, New York. It's still coming down very, very heavy. No doubt some locations will likely see five feet of snow off of Lake Erie just south of the Buffalo, New York area. That is incredible. Not only how snowy it's been, but also how cold it's been. How about a live look outside right now around here? No big time snow, obviously. A lot of clear skies, but boy, oh boy, it is chilly. With still about two inches of snow on the ground in the metro. 21 to 23 temperatures right now. The humidity, 53% of west breeze, adding insult to injury, so to speak. 17 miles an hour, pushing that feel like temperature down to nine. Bundle up big time if you have any outdoor plans the next few hours. Lots of teens and or low 20s close to home and chill factors, single digits along the I-65 corridor up to near Chicagoland. Things are moderating somewhat as you travel off to the west-southwest. A little bit of mild weather will try to sneak in here for tomorrow, but with the winds increasing, it's still going to feel pretty cold. Look at all that snow still coming off the Great Lakes, and in particular right there, just south of Buffalo, New York. It just continues to pour off of Lake Erie as the major lake effect snowstorm continues from all this Arctic air. For us, yeah, we've got more cold conditions in store as the big dip in the jet stream continues to be placed right over the area. Whenever you see this, this time of the year through the winter, that allows all that bitterly cold air to move in from portions of Canada. And tonight, you better believe it, the winds will slowly be picking up again late tonight through tomorrow morning. We will bottom out at 15 to 20 degrees, but the wind chills will be colder than that. Now let's talk about tomorrow because we are expecting yet another cold front to approach from the northwest. Ahead of that thing, quite a few clouds, mostly cloudy conditions. It looks to be a dry day, but also a windy day. So even though temperatures will be a little bit milder, we will be melting off some snow as we climb well above freezing into the low and middle 40s. Please keep in mind, it's not going to feel like the low to middle 40s. In fact, with those strong winds, the feel like temperatures through the afternoon will be feeling more like about 30. Of course, that's what you want to dress for, again, with mostly cloudy skies. That front does pass through here tomorrow night by Thursday, a quiet but chilly day once again with readings right around 35. Here's the good news. As we move closer to the weekend, Friday, especially Saturday and Sunday, a warm front developing south of us is going to pass through. Now, it will bring a couple of rain chances, but also much, much warmer air. We're 41 Friday, jump to 53 Saturday, right now Sunday. Check that out. 66 degrees. There will be some rain on Sunday, mainly the first half of the day. We think Sunday afternoon is just going to be breezy and balmy again with highs in the mid to possibly upper 60s. How about that for a turnaround? Here's the forecast. Bundle up this evening. Fair skies. A few clouds off to the north as we hover close to 20. 21 at 10 o'clock tonight. Temperatures will actually climb late tonight to near 25 by daybreak with mostly cloudy skies. It's going to be a windy day, a blustery day tomorrow. Around 38 midday, we will be melting off some of that snow. But again, even though we top out at 41, Vicki and Rick, it's not going to feel like that because of the strong winds. We're 35 Thursday, 41 Friday. Here comes that warm up, 55 to 65 Saturday and Sunday, and even in the 50s again.